The survey database contains all survey related data and is managed in the survey tab of the Civil 3D tool space. As data is imported from data collected in the field or manually entered, it is placed in the survey database. Depending on the survey user settings, this data may also be inserted into the current Civil 3D drawing or may subsequently be inserted into any Civil 3D drawing. So let's first talk about survey user settings. These are located right here. And if you click on them, this will open up the survey user settings dialog box. The survey user settings point to the different locations of where you have files and defaults related to the survey database functionality. It also controls how graphics are inserted into the file and if they should be inserted into the file as you are importing survey data. So if you look here, you have things like the survey database default, the equipment default database, the line we're processing default, where your figures should be stored, and so on. If you'd like to export these out to a totally separate file that you could then import, you can click the export and then navigate to a folder and you would then have this to then import for other users. And of course, here's the import option. Survey databases also store settings that pertain specifically to the survey project, such as the project's coordinate zone, distance unit, angle units, and direction type. The coordinate zones use the same coordinate zones as defined by Map3D. However, as we previously discussed, you can set a drawing's coordinate zones in the drawing settings right here. That said, you can also store coordinate systems inside an actual survey database, and it can be different, so be aware of that. What's kind of cool about that is that it'll actually do transformations for you on the fly as you bring in data if the coordinate zones are different. However, if you do not want coordinate zone transformation, then this would be, of course, a bad thing. Let's go ahead and right-click on this conventional survey and choose Open for Edit. To access a survey database's settings, simply right-click on it, and choose Edit Survey Database Settings. Notice how we can define the coordinate zone right here, as well as some of the other default settings as far as how things are measured. Again, this is used whenever you start editing your survey data. Note that if these settings are common for all your survey databases, you can also export and import these settings as well. Let's talk about the drawing interaction between survey databases. Let's go ahead and bring in this entire day's worth of conventional survey by simply right-clicking on it and choosing Insert into Drawing. This is a conventional survey, so it brings in the network, which are the setup locations and the side shots and observations and so on, as well as all the line work. Look how cool this is. We'll discuss figure prefixes and line work and how you can automate this when bringing in data into the drawing in a future video. But again, you can automate many, many different things by simply having your settings properly set. Notice the different collections, as mentioned before, and let's say you wanted to actually edit this network. So to edit a setup, simply select the setups category, right-click, and choose Edit Observations. In the panorama window, this will automatically show you your different observations, which is really cool. You can actually click on them, and the drawing will interact with you and show you which setup and observation you are editing. Yes, you can actually go in here and edit all of the different things, such as angle distance, vertical distance, the descriptions, and so on, if it's something you need to do. One thing to mention as far as making edits to the survey database, as long as you have this turned on, you can look at the logging that will occur as you make edits. To view the logging, simply right-click on the survey database and choose Display Change Report. This will open up in your default browser and tell you everything that you have done to this survey database.